Hey friends, happy afternoon. It is a little after three. I hope you're energized today. I hope you're drinking your water and you're eating healthy. Do you like my shirt? <laughs> I'm so loving my shirt. Merry Fitness and a happy new rear. You have to love this shirt. <laughs> anyway, I'll be wearing it all through the holidays for the next two weeks. Um, if you're interested in knowing where I got it, just let me know and I can uh, message you and let you know the link where I got it. All kinds of fun little shirts available. Anyway, I want to share with you why challenges are healthy for your physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. And you're thinking, are you kidding me? I'm so busy right now. I can't put one more thing on my plate. And I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. You can do it, you are worth it, and I'm gonna to explain to you why. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to celebrate small successes. So I am starting a challenge, a physical challenge on Saturday, okay? And so all this week, I'm gonna be doing like little posts to get you excited. It is a step, jog, and plank challenge, okay? I have a fitness group on my Quick Fit Facebook page. I have a challenge group. So if you are interested in joining, the, joining us, a group of other people that are going to be doing it together, join my page and we are going to encourage and motivate and support each other because that's the only way to do anything, right? Is with each other. So number one, why is it so healthy and good for you to do a challenge? Number one is it boosts your confidence. And who doesn't need that? Do something different or do something that you normally wouldn't do on your own. Challenge yourself, boost your confidence, number one. Number two, it grows your belief in yourself so you can strive to do other things that you normally wouldn't do. So this is very good for you for your step in self growth and also success. Number three is consistency. So consistency is the key to success because it helps you focus on, on what you're doing and it provides, you're doing powerful energy, purpose, and focus, and so it leads to success. So who wouldn't want to do something that will lead to your own success and no matter what you are striving to do? Number five is nerve. Are you crazy enough? <laughs> are you courageous enough? Are you brave enough to kind of take something on that you normally wouldn't do? Do you have the nerve to do it? My bet's on you. Come on, stand up, you can do it. Number six is happiness. Celebrating small accomplishments leads to happiness. So a small accomplishment being like a challenge, like a 10 day challenge. Make yourself happy, accomplish something, celebrate the small stuff. Number seven, shared celebration lifts up our emotions and when we can take part in something with other people and celebrate with other people, it makes us happy. So let's do this challenge together starting on Saturday. Number eight, peace of mind. How great is it when we can focus on something positive as opposed to a negative vortex down, right? Sometimes um, we get stressed or we focus on our problems, we focus on what we don't have, instead of uplifting our focus to what we can accomplish, what we can do. And so having a challenge in the forefront of your mind will keep you in a positive way, working towards something that you want to achieve. And that's a really good mindset to stay in. And finally, number nine, you know, it's always great lifting someone else up, right? Um, it, when we can help someone else, it lifts up us lifts us up as well. So when we do a challenge together with like-minded people, with one which, who want to achieve the same thing, encouraging someone else who needs encouragement, motivating someone else who needs motivation, it's just a way to make yourself feel good. So not only are you helping someone else, but in caring for someone else and helping someone else, that makes you feel better too. So anyway, those are my tips on why a challenge is good. I want you to join me on Saturday for our step, jog, and plank challenge. To give you a little more information, it's going to be 10,000 steps a day, 10,000 intentional steps. We're gonna jog for five minutes, and I know five minutes, if you don't run, five minutes is doable. If you do run, I'm giving you a little bit of a break. And plank, we're doing low, high, 
right and left planks, okay? We're gonna challenge you, we're gonna make you stronger, 10 days, we can do it, we can do it, we're gonna get you through the holidays stronger and with purpose. All right, you guys, have a great day, be energized, make good choices.